today we're going to take a look at these Spectrum Noir Sparkle Brush Pins. I know quite a few crafters have taken a look at these already. We're not looking at these from a crafting perspective necessarily. We're going to look at them from an artist perspective. So I'm going to test them for alcohol marker solubility and water solubility, as well as compatibility with other sparkly brush marker products. And hopefully that will help you guys decide whether or not these markers are right for you. So I am going ahead and prepping some watercolor paper, because I'm gonna use that for my test. Just move that out of the way. And we're gonna go ahead and unbox these and get them going. I picked these up on sale at Michael's. Um, I had a coupon, so of course, I'd been interested in them for a little while and I got the Vintage Bloom because it seems to fit the colors I use. So they have one of those rings as well as a color indicator on the cap and on the body. This is Fig. So let's see, there we go. Remove the ring, screw it back into place. I'm clearly doing something wrong here. No, I'm doing it right. I'm just having trouble. There we go. You need to apply a little bit of pressure, apparently, when you're screwing it in. So you need to use some force to get these started. Now, unfortunately, trying to uncap this thing. Let's try a different, no, okay. All right, so, so I'm having a lot of trouble with these. I am going to step away, I guess, and figure these out and I'll be right back. So I've been messing around with it. I still can't get it open. To me, that would be a pretty serious design flaw if you can't get the cap off your marker. And I'm having trouble getting them to like post onto the body as well. <sighs> well, now I just got this one off. Okay, so that's one down. I think something's wrong with Fig. All right, so with a fair amount of struggling, I have managed to get all of the <laughs> brushes attached to the bodies and the caps off. And um, not really sure why that was such a difficult thing to do, but the cap seems to just pop on and off once you have it correctly assembled. So I need to shake each one and activate each one. And you can hear there is a little shaker in there. So uncapped, I'm gonna go, ahead. oh, really? Okay. So I guess that one's ready. They're thinner than some of the other ones. Also look, that br brush is already all splayed out. I haven't even used it yet. That's another one that, wow, really? Okay, so um, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and use that while I've got it. So I'll take a piece of watercolor paper as well as some water. Very shimmery though. All right, so I'm gonna set that aside to dry and I'll clean up this mess. So we're gonna start by checking out these shimmer pens and it seemed, bleh, it seemed like just from that little swatch that I inadvertently did um, these are a little more liquid Ooh, a lot more liquid the color is really pretty though um, they are more liquid and the shimmer is finer sort of like shimmer mist so if you're um, familiar with like I'll grab them. Oh, that's a really nice color. Um, and they they blend really well into one another, which is cool. Very prone to dripping now. Power brush letter is not all over these. No, I haven't forgotten that train of thought. Um, I'll show you all in a minute. So for those of you who are familiar with scrapbooking supplies, these remind me of Tattered Angel's Shimmer Mist. And they're really pretty, um, but pretty much 
everything is water reactive, so I can only use them with alcohol markers, really. Um, but these sort of remind me of that, except more intense color. So I'm going to do a light spritz and hopefully get some color movement. I'm trying to get the, just a little bit. It'll make a pretty background. Okay, so while these were wet, they were reactive into each other. They are water reactive. So I'm gonna set this aside and let it dry. All right, so this has had a chance to dry. I'm gonna go ahead now and spray it again with water as well a little bit of that tattered angel spray just to see if it's going to be reactive. As you guys can see, it has a lot of shimmer in it, but the shimmer is not colored shimmer. It's silver shimmer that um, might pick up some influence from the color that uh, is in the pin itself. And I'll also use a water brush. It's not a particularly good water brush, unfortunately. To see if I can move some of the color. And it looks like the shimmer moves, but not, I mean, the color will move if you sort of scrub at it, but it isn't immediately reactive. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of the Tattered Angels on top. And this one has a bit of gold shimmer in it. And I will let that dry. And then we're gonna compare these brush markers to other popular sparkly brush markers, such as the Wink of Stella and the Wink of Luna. All right, guys, I'm back again with the Spectrum Noir shimmering markers, as well as with some Zig Wink of Stella and Zig Wink of Luna brushes. And I just realized it's darker in my studio than I intended, so I'm gonna go hit the lights. All right, so we have Sage again. And now that I know the trick to uncapping them, they're a little bit easier. And I'll put some sage down. It is a pretty color, but these are more like water-based markers than they seem to be like alcohol markers. Now, this is a Zig Wink of Stella. It also has a color, like a base color inside, as well as a color to the glitter. Now, with the Spectrum Noir markers, I have found that the glitter is always this silvery glitter, whereas with the Wink of Stella markers, the glitter will change. So this is like gold and black, whereas this is, uh, looks like gold and silver. Let's find out. Yeah, it's gold and silver. And this one is gold and clear. So let's see how interchangeable they are. The um, Spectrum Noir has a much bigger brush tip than the Wink of Stella's, which have sort of a smaller brush tip. And Wink of Stella is made by Zig. As you saw just there, they do blend together as soon as you add one to the other. Let's try the other way. So we're gonna do Wink of Stella first, and then we're going to add so yeah, though they are intermixable in that regard. And then finally, we have the Wink of Luna. Wink of Luna, um, you guys might have seen my sort of botched uh, swatching video for the silver and gold. Wink of Luna is more of an opaque single color. So I have silver, gold, and green. I don't really recommend silver and gold, mostly because neither color is very impressive. But the green is actually very pretty. And these, like the Wink of Stella, are made by Zig. And these seem to be intermixable as well. And then, finally, we're gonna take a look at just a few of the sparkly pins that are on the market. You've got At You Spica, which is made by Copic. And I have one of the six piece sets and it's just sort of like a fine tip with a little bit of glitter in there. Much less glitter than the um, Spectrum Noir markers. 
and I also have some of Zig's Wink Stella markers, which were designed, I think, to compete with the At You Spica. And I also have some of Sakura of America's many, 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 many glitter and glitzy and shimmery. I mean, they really have a bunch. And these are rollerball, like gel pens. Oh, I have a couple of a Signo mixed in there. And most of them are opaque. There are a couple of transparent ones as well. Like here is the transparent metallic silver. And I'm gonna have to zoom way in. Oh, that's not transparent at all. It is silver, but with um, metallic flecks in it. I know I have one of the transparent ones. Oh wow, I think it's in another kit. And then they have some pearlescents that have an interference color of gold. And I have quite a few of those because they're really lovely. That would be these. And I also have the glaze, which let's go ahead and do it on this. It goes down transparent and then once it dries it dries very opaque and that sort of tripped me up when I was doing that mermaid for um, my one of my art snacks last year because it went down so transparent and I've gotten so used to gel uh, like gel pins not necessarily working so I kept going over it and I over applied so we're going to do a couple more tests. I've got here a Copic marker. It's an alcohol marker. So we're testing to see how intermixable these are, if they will reactivate. And it looks like there's a little bit of smudging, but not a whole lot. And I'd also just put these down. So it seems like if I let them, ah, oh, the purple moves a lot more. That green stays in place pretty well pink also moves a little bit. Let's try the Wink of Stella. They move a fair amount, especially the darker ones. So the darker ones seem the most prone to movement. And it could be that I didn't let them dry for 24 hours. Sometimes that makes a difference. But what I think it really boils down to is um, water-based media tends to always be a little alcohol reactive, whereas alcohol media does not tend to be water reactive. So, uh, so here is a water brush. And I know we played with this before. I'm gonna go ahead though and kind of do an official. So it looks like the wink of Stella doesn't move as much. Now I know if you get the water on it really quickly, you can use the wink of Luna as a bit of um, an ink wash. But I'm going to step away from this for an hour and let it dry and then we'll come back and we'll try to reactivate it and see if it's just as water soluble. All right guys, it's been an hour. Now we're gonna go back and continue to test for water solubility. Sage still seems to be somewhat water soluble. This plum color, which is a beautiful color by the way, is still very water soluble. The pink is less so, but will move. Now let's try the Wink of Stella's. All right, the black is pretty, pretty solid there. Getting a little bit of movement. Oh, I'm sorry, a little bit of movement, but not a lot. The gray has more movement. And I'm sure the silver, no, silver's holding pretty steady. Just some of the sparkles will move. All right, guys, so that was water solubility for the Spectrum Noir. Sorry, Spectrum Noir, Noir um, Sparkle 
So what is my final opinion on these? Well, um, I really like the colors that I did actually get. You can, I've only seen them sold in sets of three um, and you can find them at Michael's and Joann's and those sort of places. Um, I wish they were sold open stock because this set happened to have three colors that I can see myself using, but this was like one of very few sets that, I, that had three colors that I knew I would use. And it would be nice if you could also pick up colors as you need to replace them or need to refill them. Um, they are a little more expensive than the Wink of Stella's, which are sold open stock, but if you have a coupon, you can pick them up um, at a pretty good price. They are much larger than the Wink of Stella and the Wink of Luna. The brush on them is also much larger. So if you're filling in large areas, the Spectrum Noir markers do seem like possibly a better choice and they put down a generous amount of ink. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it answered your questions and I hope you look forward to future videos where I put these to good use. I'm Becca Hilburn. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day guys. Bye.